Hey, I'm Hamish, and this is Writing on Games. There was a while there where when you thought of music games, chances are you pictured Guitar Hero and Rock Band and not much else. While the dominance of those franchises has all but vanished with reboots of each failing to set the world on fire, dominant they indeed were. They gave you the chance to live out your fantasies of being a rock star without the need to actually learn an instrument, upping your air guitar game by giving you a piece of plastic to hammer on instead. Those games never spoke to me, I thought the butt rock aesthetic, hell, the general concept of being a rock star was lame, but more importantly, the way the art form was gamified here, that you essentially won art in the eyes of some polygonal audience if you got to the end of a song without messing up, was so distant from the chaos and danger I so loved about the music I was listening to. For me it represented none of the fear and tension of performing to a crowd, and as a result, none of the elation of self-expression either. Which is why it might seem weird that Drool's self-proclaimed rhythm violence game Thumper continues to speak to me like no other music game before it. Compared to those previous examples, it's about as abstract as you can get. It's a game pared down to its barest elements. You're a bug on the highway, get to the end of the highway, press the button at the right time to make the bad thing go away. As a result of this abstraction though, you begin to look at things more symbolically, conceptually, getting rid of the uncanniness associated with simulating the literal act of playing music where I would wonder why music was being scored so rigidly or why my creativity wasn't being encouraged. You see this abstraction in the soundtrack, in typical rock games you'd find a steady pulse, providing you a platform to fill in the more memorable parts of the song, the melody, the solo what have you, you'd be able to stick out in the same way, this is your moment, your time to shine. Thumper, on the other hand, lacks those melodic hooks. Your role instead, in a musical sense, is to provide the pulse, hammering out sporadic rhythms underneath a cacophony of industrial sounds and drones, perfectly complementing the game's metallic aesthetic. And this is where the tension starts to kick in. You legitimately never know what's going to come around the next corner. You never know the song, because there is no song, so to speak. You're merely navigating the unknown, an amorphous soundscape. And what's more, it's an unknown that's coming at you at ludicrous speeds, compounded by the fact that each stage changes the time signature in ways not commonly seen in rhythm games. You go from a fairly easy 1, 2, 3, 4 rhythm to something as complicated as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Most people have internalised 4, 4 rhythm, something like 9, 8 is a lot more difficult to feel per se. This is all combined with the fact that there's a physicality to Thumper that I've yet to see matched by any other game like it. The speed at which everything moves means you'll be hammering on the A button with ludicrous intensity, which famously led to some reports of thumb injuries shortly after the game's release. Every note you hit, every turn you make, explodes at you, sold by a wash of visual effects and sound design that's so low-end heavy that it never ceases to feel like a sledgehammer to the face. And this is why Thumper is so representative of music to me. Not because it allows you to show off how technically you understand rhythm or whatever, I mean I actually feel that this game would appeal to non-musicians as much as musicians, but on a broader conceptual level, it requires legitimate practice, like musicians will practice their instruments. You will fuck up, you'll have to start a level again, probably multiple times. Mistakes are punished with a sickening judder that, even though it only lasts for a fraction of a second, can completely throw off your rhythm. Just like playing with a band however, the highway doesn't stop just because you messed up. It's up to you to get back into the swing of things, and quickly. After a while though, you stop thinking about the process as much, you get into the same zen-like trance musicians do when they perform. You'll get to the end of a stage, and amongst the elation of overcoming such an intense challenge, you'll wonder how you even got there. See, musicians don't carefully picture every note as they play, just like you don't think about exactly how you're going to react to a note coming at you in Thumper. It's all happening too fast to picture in that way. Part of why musicians practice is so that they can intuit the process, adapt and improvise the moment things go wrong, and you do exactly the same thing in Thumper. And once you do start to get a more general feel for how the game works, you maybe begin to realise that there's a surprising amount of room for player expression. 
you pick up on the fact that your jump and slam move is not only an opportunity to regain health, but provides such a glorious pulverizing thud that you start to try and find ways to work it in wherever you feel you can. But as certain level specific obstacles are quick to remind you, there's little room for cockiness here. What are you, some kind of rock star? Just play the song. <laughs> It leads to a constant string of risk reward moments where you weigh up in fractions of a second whether you can justify the flashy approach. Trying to chain together a series of turns and slams, anticipating the fact that it often results in the same kind of slight judder you get when you make a mistake. You have to be really confident in your ability to pull this off and not stick out like a sore thumb. All in, Thumper is not designed to elevate you like Guitar Hero or Rock Band. In most ways, it's downright hostile. It feels incredible when you get to the end of a stage, but only because the means of getting there was so gruelling and fraught with things that could go wrong. It's physically and mentally draining in the same way performing can be. It feels dangerous. On every conceivable level, Thumper gets what it means to play music. It makes sense too, given that Brian Gibson, one half of developer Drool along with Mark Flurry, is one half of the band Lightning Bolt, a band whose music focuses on exploring the primal, physical impact of sound and rhythm over melody or ego. And while it's often futile to try and attribute authorial intent, it's been incredibly fulfilling to see my thoughts on the game being mirrored by the people that created it. Flurry and Gibson both used to work at Harmonix, on Rock Band specifically, discussing in interviews their growing disillusionment with the corporate culture that kept music games at the level of Rockstar Simulator, and how Thumper was largely a response to that. Essentially, there's a lot of evidence to suggest that Thumper was born out of the same frustration and desire for experimentation that I had felt before I played it and despite how intensely draining an experience the game often is, that I wasn't alone in feeling that the medium of music could more earnestly be explored in games, and that Thumper exists specifically to remedy that, is a sentiment I take great comfort in. So I hope you enjoyed my piece on Thumper. If you did, maybe consider doing all the usual things. As always, these videos are made possible by your unbelievably generous pledges on Patreon, so if you feel like supporting the show directly, maybe check it out. Special thanks go to Mark B. Writing, Nico Blakely, Michael Wolf, Artyom Vitsyuk, Spike Jones, The Nameless Guy, Edward Clayton Andrews, Vasily Hrabinka, Chris Wright, Dr. Motorcycle, Harry Fuertes, Ham Migas, Travis Bennett, Zach Casserly, Samuel Pickens, Tom Nash, Shardfire, Philip Lange, Rob, Rusty Shackelford, Anna Pimentel, Jesse Ryan, Brandon Robinson, Justin's Holderness, Biggie Smith, Peter, Christian Kuneman, Camel Traffic, Nicholas Ross, and Charlie Yang. And with that, this has been Writing on Games. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.